Hey gearheads and welcome to another video. Today we are talking Corvette Invasion, more specifically the Corvette Corral at the Circuit of the Americas Raceway SVRA weekend in November of 2020. Huge thank you and shout out to Sean Jones, the organizer of this event, and the Corvette Invasion, the largest Corvette gathering in the state of Texas. This is his ride right here, uh, but he has actually been on our podcast to talk about organizing these events and what it's like gathering 300 plus Corvettes from around the nation for Corvette shows. And we will put the links down to the, that in the notes down below. But you can see there were Corvettes from every generation represented here at this Corvette Corral, which is a much smaller version than his full-fledged Corvette Invasion, which you saw will be in July of 2021, his next show. But as we pan through all the Corvettes that were there, you can see every single generation was represented. And we have some bone stock. We have some modified. I really like this Texas flag C4 right there. All kinds of options, all kinds of customization uh, to make them truly theirs. Uh, every generation represented. I really like this holographic one right here. The owner had matching holographic shoes, so you could definitely pick her out in a crowd as you're walking around. This second gen was one of my favorites that were were there. Wonder Woman made an appearance. So like I said, all generations represented, many different models represented, including the ZR1, the fastest front-engined stock Corvette ever produced. But what I was most excited about is what you see here on the screen is all the different C8s that were at the event. Up until arriving at this event, I had seen two, yes, two C8s with my own eyes, and both of them were in passing. Did not get to spend a whole lot of time with either of them because they were driving by me. So it was a truly awesome experience to get up and close and personal uh, with the C8 mid-engine Corvette and uh, just get to see all the different angles and take some pictures myself. And huge thanks to my wife for coming out and joining me with this event. ETX Marketing is uh, her marketing company and just very grateful for her help and their help uh, with this event. Uh, she has actually been on our podcast as well, episode 29. I'll put a link down, there, down in the notes for that one as well. But uh, just an awesome, awesome event with so many Corvettes. Uh, I, I just, I was surprised at how many Corvettes just kept coming and coming throughout the day. Uh, as more and more showed up for this Corvette car show. And we had many, many favorites here. See, we've got a first gen Corvette right here, all the way to a really nice rapid blue C8 convertible right here. Uh, just truly options for every generation Corvette lover at this event. Uh, but like I said, I was most excited to be able to snap some pictures and uh, see a Corvette C8 for myself up close and in person. We actually got to spend a little more time with one, but we'll save that for a future video. So be sure to hit like and subscribe to our uh, channel so that you can keep up to date with our Corvette action as well as all the other stuff that we are into. We are uh, cooking up some really awesome content for you. So yeah, be sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell for uh, notifications so you don't miss any future content from us. Now, this 1966 second gen C2 uh, Corvette convertible was probably one of my favorite. It was really hard to pick out a favorite at this event because there were just so many awesome examples. I, I go a little more old school. The second generation is my favorite of all time. Uh, probably followed by the C8, so I'm old school and new school <laughs> all at the same time. But uh, there's just something about this uh, first Stingray uh, designated Corvette that uh, I, I just love them. They, they're the right size. Uh, they had, you know, just amazing looks to them. And they, they just don't make cars like that anymore. I, I love this generation Corvette. I mean, just look at the tail end of it there. Beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, we had everything 
from the rare uh, C7ZR1 represented there. So like I said, truly a Corvette for any Corvette lover at this show. And like I said before, this Corvette Corral is about maybe a third of the size of the full-fledged Corvette Invasion. So we will put links to the Corvette Invasion website so you can t take part in that when it happens uh, next July 2021. Uh, very excited for that coming up. Now, this dark green uh, Stingray is probably my wife's favorite. Uh, she got more pictures of this, I think, than any of the others that were there. I think I did as well, because like I said, this is my favorite generation. This one had the 427 under the hood, was in truly immaculate condition, very well kept. And uh, I, like I said, I just love them. Favorite generation and a truly immaculate example of uh, the second generation Corvette. So huge thanks to the owner for bringing this one out. I absolutely loved it. Now there you can see the 427 under the hood. Uh, as my wife was traveling from the Corvette Corral to the uh, raceway to get some pictures and video over there, uh, she was riding with a bunch of people who did not know about the Corvette Corral and what was going on uh, with this Corvette car, so, car show. So it was really awesome uh, for her just to hear all the people freaking out about just the sheer number of Corvettes as you drove down the road and saw one after another after another because that was all you could see was Corvettes as far as the eye could see. And uh, it was just an awesome experience to be there. And um, if you could not find a Corvette that you liked at that event, what's wrong with you? Uh, this is America's sports car, and there are so many, so many beautiful examples that were brought to this event, and in all conditions as well. Uh, I fell in love with this fourth gen C4 uh, Corvette for just its simplicity and the fact that it, it wasn't the prettiest, it wasn't the most special. You know, we just put on our Unlikely Heroes car show, and where we celebrated the daily drivers. And so that one caught my eye while we were there, as did this red one with uh, some modifications. You can see uh, the front arrow on there, uh, as well as all the stripes. Uh, truly just many different examples, like I said, from stock to modified and personal, personalized. So uh, just all kinds of awesome uh, examples of what people can do uh, when they love a car and uh, show off. Now, this one coming up here was probably my favorite example of the C8 generation because I am a huge Captain America fan. You can see this one is owned by YouTuber Brink of Speed. We will put a link to his channel down below. I didn't actually get a chance to interview him before he went over to the raceway to check out all the events going on over there. Uh, but I got some pretty sweet pictures of his ride and all the modifications he's done to it. Uh, I, I just, I absolutely love it as a Captain America fan. Uh, they did this one very well. You can even see on the back here, the, I can do this all day, uh, slogan that, uh, Captain America drops anytime he's going through a grueling fight with his opponents. Just an amazing, uh, modified version of the C8 Corvette. And like I said, that's YouTuber Brink of Speed, but uh, all I can say is, uh, just a truly awesome event. So thankful to Sean from Corvette Invasion for having us out to this event, letting us check out all the different examples that were there. Uh, this video only touched on some of them. Like I said, I could have spent all day out there and I wouldn't have gotten all the pictures that I wanted of all the different Corvettes that were there. And, uh, this Corvette Corral isn't even half of what a Corvette Invasion is. So, like I said, I will put links down below to the Corvette Invasion website so you can check that out and you won't miss that summer of 2021. I'm already looking forward to it. Huge thanks to Sean for having us out to this event. Be sure and like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content.